A 21-year-old college senior from Lexington has a warning for other people who vape. After eight days in an ICU, a case of pneumonia, and a vaping-induced lung injury, she is saying enough is enough. She shared her experience with LEX 18's Claire Kopsky in tonight's Big Story at 530. It started off as a social activity. I would see my roommate and she would do it. They smoked cigarettes together, but 21 year old Brittany Wallace of Lexington says she didn't like the taste, so she switched to vaping. And in a matter of months, she says it was an addiction. I've stopped off and on, but it's seriously so addicting. Like I pick it right back up usually as soon as I drop it. Two years ago, she had some health issues, but didn't know why and ignored them. Then about two months ago and nearly four years into vaping, the otherwise healthy EKU senior started having unexplained symptoms. I started to get really bad migraines and um, like this feeling of numbness, like I would like lose like feeling in my legs and I would just fall. In the following weeks, she developed a cold that just kept getting worse. Then on June 6th, she woke up in the middle of the night. I want to say it was vomit, but it was not like it was this clear fluid that was like literally I was drowning in fluid and it was in my lungs and it she made it to the hospital and after a few tests, she was diagnosed with pneumonia and a vaping induced lung injury. When they were like, are you a smoker? I was like, great, I've done it. Like, this is this is my fault. She went into respiratory failure and after eight days in the ICU, she says she's lucky she survived. It's no one's fault but my own and I'm not gonna not take accountability. I chose to purchase it, I chose to use it. Still struggling to walk, she's finally home from the hospital. There's the portable oxygen. I have to like take it with me if I leave the house. And then that's just like my regular. Her doctors say over time her lungs should heal, but Brittany says she doesn't want to see anyone else go through this. Please do not do it. I mean, I almost died. I seriously was otherwise healthy. I just don't want anyone to pick them up anymore. A warning to stop vaping before it's too late. In Lexington, Claire Kopsky. LEX 18 News. And we're going in depth on how this issue impacts the Commonwealth. State health officials say the vaping epidemic is bad here in Kentucky. In fact, data shows teen vaping in the Commonwealth doubled from 2016 to 2018. A recent survey shows a third of Kentucky high schoolers believe vaping actually increased during the pandemic. To put that into perspective, teens who vape are up to seven times more likely to get COVID-19 than teens who don't. <laughs>